hey you guys and welcome back to my channel so y'all remember how i said it was my birthday month and i was going a little ham and uh yeah so here goes my birthday haul these are things that i got as gifts and these are things that i got as gifts for myself because i know what i like so um yeah let's just start with the first things that i got okay so first of all let me address um i got well i had a haul earlier in the month from ColourPop, and one of my blushes the pan came completely out as i was hauling it and so i went on ahead oh, hold on me take a breath all right so i hauled it and the pan came completely out so at first I was like, I don't know if I want to contact them for this because I don't know, you know, whatever. But then I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, let me go on ahead and email them. Let them know that this was an issue just in case like they can kind of help with, you know, quality control in the future. And then two, I'm like, I didn't know how long it was actually going to last. I didn't know what kind of adhesive would work to keep this in there. I didn't want to risk it. So they went on ahead and sent me a new one which was completely all good but then along with that they <sighs> I don't know why I'm so out of breath <sighs> maybe because I'm excited so along with the blush that they replaced they sent me a smaller size of one of their new highlighters which is in the shade tasty and here goes what it looks like which is oh, so up my alley is a beautiful peach color and honey look at that mm. that's serious y'all that is I need a paper towel shit that's a serious ass highlight and they did just release their their full line of highlighters on the 28th which was yesterday probably post this today so yeah yesterday and I'm about to order me some more. <laughs> I already got my cart full. So I just need to, you know, hit that that going ahead and place order button. So yeah, let me get me a thing on my bobby here. So anyways, so yeah, they did send me that. And I really, really thank ColourPop for doing that because they didn't have to. And I appreciated the fact that they just heard me out. So anyways, let's jump into the other things that I got in for my birthday. Um, let's start with NYX because I put in an order online with NYX. Um, first things first. And I did use a couple of these things already. I mean, it's been a couple days now since my birthday. But first thing here is the NYX Color Correcting Powder, which I have in the shade Banana. And it is just a loose like setting powder i wanted to try this out um because right now i've been using Ben Eye banana powder i don't know if that's good for everyday use so i wanted to try to find something else that's good to set my under eye concealer um i do like because i tried it today i do like the brightening effect that i got from it but i don't know if it will be a really good everyday wear type deal but i mean you'll see what else i have here so yeah i got that guy and then they recently came out with their con or highlight and contouring palette, their pro palette. Well, I didn't love all of the shades in the palette. Like I didn't want any of the shimmery ones. So they do sell the pans individually. So I went on ahead and bought four of the, the pans that I wanted most. I got two contouring shades and two highlighting shades. Uh, the first one I have here is Saddle. And I did get a chance to try these out. I wish they had a darker shade because I did a photo shoot and this was not dark enough for my chocolate girls. But here goes what it looks like. It's just a warmer brown shade. Um, I'm not going to swatch and everything, but well, maybe I should. Okay, so the one thing I got to say is that I was hoping that this would just, you know, magnetize in my Z palette, but it did not. But that's okay. I figured that I can probably pop the pan out of here. I just won't know the color. So here goes what saddle looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch it. Like I said, it's a warmer brown. So it's more like on the red tones. Um, I'm just going to toss this to the side because I'm not going to put it back in the packaging. Um, the next color I have here is 
Sienna, which is more on the cooler tone of the contours. And here goes what that looks like. This one kind of reminds me of Hula Bronzer, which is one of my favorites. And I like how cool it is. So that's that compared to Saddle. So I thought this was a nice range for myself. Like if I want something a little bit warmer or if I wanted something a bit more on the cool side or if I wanted to use these on clients, duh. So there goes the two contours I got. And then I got a highlight in the color cream which is more of a yellow tone i believe this is like their banana i don't know so here goes what it looks like i have not tried this out yet but yeah so there goes what it looks like it's just you know your typical cream color this one's a bit more powdery than i would like but that's what it looks like there on my hand. Let me make sure I'm still filming because if I'm not, I'm gonna go hand. All right, so that was cream. And then I also got nectar, which I believe is a bit more on the shimmery side, but <clears throat> I don't know. So yeah, and it's another highlighting shade. So here goes what nectar looks like. I have not swatched these yet, so I don't really know. It just has like a slight sheen to it. I think this would be nice like, you know, if I want more of like a subtle highlight like on my cheekbones. So here goes what that looks like. And those were all of the highlight and contouring shades that I got. And then also from NYX, I wanted to try out their micro brow pencil. Now, I don't usually use a pencil when I do my brows, but I wanted to try it out, and this is like an inexpensive alternative to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, is what I heard anyways. So I got this shade in taupe, and I think I might actually go back and get, or I might put in a different order for a darker shade because this is slightly too light. But as you can see, it has like a ultra, ultra fine tip on one end, and then on the other end it has like the spoolie which I think is really really nice and I'll go on ahead and show you and I mean I'm I'm putting this on pretty thick but I think I might be able to work with it I think the shade isn't that bad now that I've actually put it on pretty heavy it's not that bad I don't think it's too far off I just need to learn how to use it is all it is so I got that guy and then I wanted to try one of their Intense Butter Glosses. So I just got the shade Banana Split. And I will give you a little swatch of what that looks like. And I did go on ahead and wear this already. And I love the way these wear. They're really, really comfortable on the lips. I feel like it didn't go like, you know, haywire on the outside of my lips. So love this guy. I think I will be ordering more of these. And again, that was Banana Split. And then, okay, so I don't know how I feel about this product yet because I did try it out, but I got the the Proof It Waterproof um, Eyebrow Primer. Now on days that I don't do like, you know, a full face of makeup and I just need to go out of the house looking presentable, I'll just use like a little bit of powder in my brows. And I thought that this would be really, really nice to use to kind of make sure that my brows stay in place because you know, sometimes like when you don't wear makeup, like you do stuff that you wouldn't normally do when you are wearing makeup, you'll touch your face a little bit more or you know, just do anything. You'll probably wipe your damn brow off. So I wanted to get this to prevent that and i just don't know that i love it yet maybe i haven't used it correctly but i thought it was kind of weird that it came with this wand so basically what you're supposed to do you're supposed to put this down like a primer you know tap it in let it set and then do your brows the the issue that i had with it was that once i went to put my brows like if i didn't have it like you know precise excuse me precisely where I wanted my brows to be I felt like the brow powder adhered in areas that I didn't want it to adhere to so my brows didn't look as crisp and as clean as I would have would have liked them to be so I just have to play around with this a little bit more just to see whether or not I like it but it's all right 
Um, let me wipe all this stuff off of my hand. Um, and they actually send, they've been sending out freebies with all online orders. And so they gave me this eye or eyebrow pencil in the shade lime green. So it's just a lime green shade. All right. So next thing or the next things that I got, um, number one, I bought myself like this was my splurge item. This is something that I've been wanting to try. I've been wanting to get into more high end. Uh, foundations and just makeup in general so I went on ahead and made the, the splurge and got the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation and I am in the shade Stromboli so I got that and I am wearing it on my face today I've had a couple of chances to you know try it out and I also got the the radiant creamy concealer in the shade custard so so far I've really really been loving these but I am so so happy that I did this for myself because normally I would not spend you know upwards or damn near $75 yeah something like that for you know something to just slap on my face I'm still kind of debating whether or not I want to keep this I know for a fact that I love this so it's so really really happy to get these for myself so yeah I feel like a big person and um, as usual NARS always gives you like you know your little birthday gift and their freebie was the NARS um, what is it? it's the velvet matte lip pencil in uh, the shade Cruella and then the satin lip pencil in <gasps> I don't remember the shade name I have both of these in my purse so I can't even show you what they look like but so far I've really liked these and I think I am going to get the full size of Cruella because I love the way it wore on my lips so yeah got my freebie from Sephora and then one of my besties got me a gift card to Sephora as well so I went back and bought a few more splurge items that I would normally not get myself my camera doesn't like me today okay so anyways um so I got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the limited edition shade, which is a blush copper. Um, first of all, this packaging is so freaking luxurious. And this highlight though, I didn't wear it today. I feel like I need to get a little bit more tan before I get there, but look how freaking gorgeous, okay? So yeah. I just had to get this one I figured like if I'm gonna splurge on an item and it's for my birthday I'm gonna get the limited edition and I'm gonna start here and I think I'm going back to get more so that's what that one looks like um, let me get something to wipe off my fingers so yeah I got that guy which again I have not used yet but I can't wait to use it once I get a little bit more tanned so yeah and then the other thing that I got, which like I said, I have been looking for something that I can use like on a daily uh, basis to set my under eyes. Um, I do like the NYX. It's very brightening, but again, I don't know if that's good for, you know, daily use. So I got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, which is an under eye setting powder. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a white translucent powder, but it has a lot of reflective qualities to it. I wore this to dinner Monday evening and we had our picture taken with flash photography and I had the, you know, the white <laughs> raccoon eye popping, which is not cute by any means. I don't know that I, let me, okay. so. Maybe I just need to use it in different ways because I just used it in the way that I would use like my banana bin or my bin eye banana powder or you know any other setting powder. I'm thinking that maybe I need to put like you know a skin toned um, powder over top of this after I use it just so I don't get that that white flashback effect. But I don't know. I'm still debating whether or not I want to take this back or not. Uh, and I hate to be that person because I already opened it and everything but I mean for something as expensive because this was I want to say like $25 it's expensive and if I'm going to spend that kind of money I'm going to want to like what it is that I spent my money on so judge me all you want to I ain't mad 
So last but definitely not least, I went over to Ulta because what I went to Sephora originally for, they did not carry this product in my specific store. So I went over to Ulta, I ended up having rewards, and so I went on ahead and picked up the Anastasia, Anastasia, <laughs> shut up, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, and I actually did my look using this palette today so make sure that you stay tuned for that video because i will have swatches on that one i'm not going to do swatches now so yeah so here goes what the palette looks like on the outside and then on the inside it comes with a mirror as you can see and then 12 beautiful colorful shades it comes with like a dual ended brush but yeah I was all about this palette. I keep on missing out on these limited releases that she comes out with, like the Amrezi palette, I missed out on. Um, what was the other one? I can't even think. It was like one of the first limited edition. I don't know. I keep on missing out on palettes is all I'm saying. And so when I seen that this was out, I went to my Sephora, like I said, they didn't carry it. Went over to Ulta, they were fully stocked. They didn't even have a sampler out that's how that's how fresh it was and I didn't even care I'm like I don't need to stick my fingers in it I'll be surprised it's a birthday gift so I went on ahead and picked it up and oh I am so pleased with my purchase this uh, this beat <laughs> is proof what really drew me to it was this yellow shade which my favorite color is yellow I'm just about that yellow life so that shade, this orange you fan, or fresh is what this is called, I should say. Orange you fancy and anaconda. That anaconda. Dun. Yeah, I was about all of that like. So I got this guy, and like I said, I had rewards. So I had $9 off. This is originally $30. So I got this palette for $21. Bucks. Yes, honey. Happy birthday to me. So yeah that was all the things that i got for my birthday i'm not showing all these things off to brag or anything but you know it's my birthday and i can do what i want and if you don't like it you know i don't know i don't know what to tell you because i'm usually I, it's not like i get on here all the time and i'm just you know splurging on items showing off all kinds of crazy shit not that girl but it's my birthday and i just want to show what you know share what i got for my birthday just like you would share with your girlfriends you're all my girlfriends so was really good so anyways i would like to thank you guys so much for watching again if you have not subscribed already go on ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below and yeah i will see you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching i'll see you later bye